The bounty hunter, meanwhile, was eager to impress the family attorney. I cannot believe that you made these. Indeed, Ice had always bounty hunted to support his first love, party planning. And Lindsay was still hoping to score a date with him. I don't suppose you'd be interested in catering an affair with me. Well, when you get a full guest list, let me know. Why can't I do this anymore? That's got to bother you, huh, Dad? I mean, she's flirting right in front of you. Hmm? Oh, no. I am surprised, though, that she's going after somebody so similar to my own type. But I suppose we all do expose our inner desires, don't we? I think you just did. No, I didn't. Is there any way I can divorce them? Oh, sure. It's called emancipation. But you've got to prove that you're living in an unstable environment. Both my parents are trying to have affairs. Of course, they haven't succeeded yet. If they do, I could have you out of this house on the street in a month. Sweet. Mm -hmm. Soon Michael arrived, and Ice began his presentation. When word got out that he was building houses for Saddam Hussein, he escaped to Mexico where, as you know, he was arrested and interred in a local prison until he was killed by this guard. Body was held for six days within the prison walls when... I'm sorry, it, sorry, he killed a guard? No, the guard killed him. He's dead, buried in Mexico. Uh, hold on, how, how do we know this is true? Because I have here his dental records, his death certificate, and a political cartoon from a leading Mexican publication. Okay, again, I'm a caterer, so if you do have any family events, weddings, wakes, I'll leave my card. Is it true? Is he really gone? Oh, just checking.